So hey everybody, it's Colorist K9 here. Um, I'm on my way to Pets at Home. I'm going to be seeing one of my friends that I haven't seen in ages. Obviously with um, the two meter rule. But yeah, we're gonna be doing a little haul. So I'll catch you when I get there. Bye. So uh, we're at Pets at Home. I just dropped Roxy to the vet. She actually took it really well. Much better than I thought she would actually. But yeah, I was really nervous. Like. It was a nerve situation because it was the first time I've had to take her to go there. I was a bit scared, but she kind of just followed him in. Like, there was nothing to worry about in the world, so I think that's a good thing. Anyway, I'll update you when she comes out. So, she's fine, guys. She is fine. She came out there. She wasn't even that bothered to see us, and I thought it would be very, like, anxiety-ridden, but she's actually fine. So, yeah, now let's get on to our Pets at Home vlog. Colors K9 and we just got back from Pets at Home so I'm going to do a little haul for you lot. So first of all I'm going to start with the food. We got some, um, I got some Puppy Lily's Kitchen for Roxy because I mean she really likes Lily's Kitchen and it worked well with both of my dogs actually because they both had stomach issues when I got them and they was on complete different diets but since I put them on Lily's Kitchen it's improved dramatically, so I'm quite impressed and it's something that I would advise. Lily's Kitchen is a good food. It's quite Sorry, nice. um, just had to distract Ronnie and Roxy because they was getting really interested in what we bought. And I'll show you what I'm distracting them with in just a minute, but let's get on to Sasha and what she bought for Pucker. So Pucker is my dog. She's a staffy Labrador Whippet kind of crossbreed. Um, as you know, Labradors are very food driven. So she's constantly looking for treats and she won't really perform any tricks or listen to me unless I have some with me. So um, I tried to buy her the most healthy, low fat treats and today luckily Lily's Kitchen had a sale on their... I don't know if you can see that. Do you only buy it if it's on the sale? No, of course not. As I'll show you in a moment, I have many treats which I spent a very large amount of money on, which I regret now. <laughs> yeah. And can you knock? Fuck off. <laughs> anyway, if you were lucky enough to find these on sale like I did for one pound, <laughs> then I would suggest you buy it as it's it's such a healthy, great treat, tasty treat. It smells great for dogs, but I would also recommend you buy this for small dogs. How do you know it smells good for dogs? Well, I would guess. What? Oh. <laughs> Okay. So, hi everyone. Um, coming from that, these <laughs> these are the things that my dogs are going crazy about. They're little, whimsy, like crocodile things. And my dogs love them. I think they're kind of like, the only way I could describe it is kind of a pasta texture. That's what it is. And the dogs love it. They chew on it. And I've, they've never choked on this. So this is why I carry on give it to them. Because they have had things in the past and like the raw hides and things. Well, Roxy has it, Ronnie did, and Ronnie choked on them, so I had to kind of cut that out quite quickly. But with these, we've never had a problem, and it's it's quite a board and breaker. It's quite, if I'm going out, I can just kind of give them one of these and they'll kind of just be quiet with it. So it's always worked well for me. And I would say these are really good for puppies because when I remember when Roxy was a puppy and she was teething, like a really young puppy, about 12 weeks old, um, I used to just give her these and it would stop her from chewing furniture and as you can see she's still crazy about them now but it would stop her from chewing furniture and chewing our hands because she was trying to chew our hands off. Okay. So um, the next item I bought is a Kong which is obviously very popular around the world um, as a treat dispenser. Um, Palka has many treat dispensers which haven't lasted very long due to her chewing problem. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Just yeah. quite typical for stuff, staffies and stuff. Um, but yeah, this is an extreme one so hopefully this is less destructible. Um, actually it comes with a spray which is supposed to spray inside but when I read the ingredients it contains mainly cheese and peanut butter which isn't um, a very healthy match for dogs. Um, anyway, um, and she, because you're trying to control her weight. Yeah, exactly. She, as as I probably mentioned, she 
you know, being a Labrador, having some Labrador in her, she's prone to get gaining weight. Um, so what breed is she? Because you've been saying a lot of breeds today. <laughs> so Parker's a cross breed. She's a Staffy Whippet Labrador. She's probably, um, if I could describe her, she's a bit smaller than a Labrador, a bit bigger than a Staffy. Um, she's very agile, a bit like a Whippet. Tricolour. Tricoloured, so she has the markings of Staffy, but she's got a very small, thin head and very deep chest of a Whippet. Yes, but it was it. Instead of filling it with the spray stuff, which isn't very healthy, to buy some of these Little Lily's kitchen food packets. What I feed Ronnie and Roxy. Oh, don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Let me put it up close to the camera. I often buy the cans because that's big enough quantity to feed on. These are often aren't enough for her to feed on, but I'll be putting it inside the Kong. Pets at home actually has a sow at the moment. What's not clicking? What's not clicking? There's time. If you're in the UK and you use Lily's Kitchen, go to your closest pets at home and grab what you can. Yeah, which is a very rare occurrence with <laughs> Lily's Kitchen. Lily's Kitchen is a really expensive food brand and treats and everything. So for a pack of let me show you. For a pack of these, which is what I bought Ronnie and Roxy, it's normally about six quid. Six pounds for a bag. Okay. And you get in there, probably about six, seven at max. And those of you that have dogs or multiple dogs will know that dogs go through treats so fast. And especially when you have puppies, you're constantly using training and treats as a bride. Content in Lily's kitchen is mainly meat, organic chicken, organic pork, organic beef, fish. It's not, you know, usually the first four ingredients dictate what's in the food. And a lot of foods have animal derivatives, which is basically another word for all the terrible and unnutritious parts of. Oh my God! As me and Sasha are students, and I work like two other jobs and obviously I have a partner who's very supportive. Sasha doesn't have a partner. So. Know how I feel. Why would you say that? Like forever single. Yeah, <laughs> forever single. <laughs> um, everyone hit her up. But anyway, it, it's, it is an expensive food, but the benefits from it outgoes the cost, in my opinion. I don't know about well, Sasha. Well, a healthy diet can literally elongate a dog's life yeah. by years. And, um, so it's a bit more money, but it's worth it, wouldn't yeah, you say? For sure, with Pucker especially, as she has that very whippet, whippets and greyhounds are very um, susceptible to, susceptible to um, bloat, which is a life-threatening disease where their stomach bloats and, and twists. And um, with Pucker, um, one of the main things I can do to make sure that that doesn't happen except going down surgery route is making sure she has a healthy diet. And... Um, she definitely loves the Lily's Kitchen as well, it's one of her favourite foods, so it's great. Yeah, I, I agree, as I said, Lily's Kitchen has been what I've had my dogs and it took me a long while to find Lily's Kitchen. I tried a lot of other foods um, and it just never worked well, there's always issues and Lily's Kitchen is the only food that I've stuck on that has worked well for them, so if yeah. You, I mean, it all, it, all, it all says it on the back of Lily's Kitchen, if you look at their ingredients and content, the oils, the way that it's baked, the minerals, the vitamins, everything inside of it, there's nothing unhealthy there. Um, it's the best you can basically buy with money. Okay, so next, um, I picked up these fill and freeze ice cream toys by Cool Club. Cool and accessories, here they are. And they sell these and pets at home as well. And it's, you know, summer's coming along, well not at the moment, it seems like winter's come back, but you know, summer's gonna come and we're all gonna run to the pet shops and try and buy cooling mats and things for our dogs. And by that time, they're just gonna be sold out or way overpriced. So I grabbed this while it was still available. I got one for Roxy, a pink one, and I got kind of a bluish coloured one for Ronnie. And what they basically are is you can fill them up with, I guess, <laughs> treats? Mm, I think or... it's just water. Uh, yeah, well, I guess you can fill them up with like flavoured water or <laughs> maybe just water itself and it's a great toy to keep them hydrated. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm guessing you fill it up and you cr crush it so it's kind of like a slushy kind of type thing. And are you interested in this? <laughs> so we'll see about that. But 
you fill it up and it kind of turns into probably a slushy type substance and the dog plays with this and it kind of cools them down gives them liquid I guess it must come out somewhere and it helps them because you know dogs pant when they're hot so if this is cold on their mouth it'll probably cool them down so this was actually a good buy in but it weren't very expensive so let me see my receipt because it's long it's very expensive <laughs> yeah um so the fill and freeze toys were 20 minutes later they were five pounds each so, wow so cheap <laughs> i'm joking so affordable as well may i mention so these were five pound each i mean they were usable so i guess it's worth yeah it. the thing is is all jokes aside this what's not clicking what's not clicking this is something that we can use throughout probably our dogs. This should last because it seems very durable. Look, feel it. It's quite oh hard. Gosh. Do you get what I mean? Are you sure you can fill it up with anything? It feels like it's really. Yeah, I don't know how you fill it up. I'm okay, sure. well, we'll find that work? out. Literally, we'll find that out soon. I'll do a video reviewing what this toy. I think we should do a video reviewing what all these. Yeah, how they, how they work yeah. and all of this. Anyways. We'll get back onto that in another video, but yeah, these are quite good summer toys, and let's go! My dog suffers with separation anxiety, she has some whippet in her, and <laughs> that's, is that the cause of it? Yeah, that uh, gives her quite a nervous nature, she's very sensitive, and um, she likes to be with people constantly, so when I leave her, I try to just have something which can distract her long enough for me to run to the shop and come back. Um, uh, that's yeah. something we are training on though like yeah. while we're in this pandemic and obviously don't worry social distancing is happening we're trying to keep our two meters but <laughs> of course but the thing is is um we're also trying to train as i said i used to do some dog training we're trying to i'm trying to help sasha with pucker because um pucker's very needy and she's got a really big separation problem with Sasha if Sasha even leaves her to go to the toilet Paka is kind of gets very out of control in her own emotions she can't really handle it she will start to shake it's really breaking herself down so we're actually trying to train and we'll talk more about that in another video but this is a really good reason why Sasha got the lick mat yeah um something Marky taught me is to stand back and not be too um too all over and not give her attention when she's having unhealthy behaviour such as jumping up and squealing and stuff and, which you know can be quite sweet when you come home and your dog's jumping up and very you know excited to see you but um, you have to kind of take a step back and kind of firstly let them calm down and little things like that so um, yeah um, Sit down. I got a lick mat this is actually spe specifically made for separation anxiety um, let me put it close to the camera so as we can see this is a really good brand the packaging is really professional and it says on the actual package itself don't feel guilty leaving your pet alone spoil them with a lick mat because sometimes people think oh i need to spoil my dog um with love and affection and that's a very human thing to do you do that with your kids you hug them all the time you're constantly all over them with dogs it's not like that you know you do want to hug your dog do you want to sometimes have a little like snuggle or a little stroke here and there but it's very unhealthy to constantly be there with them and constantly reassuring them because they'll never be able to cope when you're not there so things like this that Sasha's getting are things that will occupy Pucker they're, they're a great distraction yeah for when I'm not there for her to think about something else since she's a puppy, she can kind of take me leaving for a little while, but then she starts thinking about me too much, pacing, whining at the door, and that's when it starts getting out of hand. So what I try to do is, um, since she's a puppy, I've been trying to buy a range of different treats which are safe for her to have while unaccompanied, but also are very distracting for as long time as possible. So um, often I just rush to the shop and try to get back before she stops using whatever treat dispenser or whatever chew to I've given her but um yeah so uh, I, I, I I thought a lick mat would be a great addition she's had one in the past but 
it was nowhere near as sturdy and good quality as this so and you can actually use this for cats dogs and other pets i suppose because you could put some maybe even like things like rabbits yeah of course Possibly almost be, any animal i mean i would definitely um invest in something like this if you do have problems with separation or even if you're you feel like your pet gets a bit bored sometimes you could always maybe stick this up somewhere or just put it on the ground lay it flat and spread some the peanut butter or some if you had a cat some of their favorite food other pets some of their favorite food i mean it suggests fish and meat which is a bit strange because <laughs> that would be quite difficult to um i don't know spread yeah spread meat and fish around but i would go for maybe some type of dog food like these lily kitchens things are great or maybe peanut butter or you know some and that's type why of they're perfect banana. They, yeah they're perfect because well. you can you all use almost anything as long as it's and you know, obviously spreadable. this could be a meal time for your dog and yeah. if your dog you it's know it's perfect for like a lunch especially if you're exactly. leaving them alone or something during the day and if it gulps it down it'll slow them down a lot because yeah, they have to course. lick it and actually taste what they're eating because you, you some of you, I don't know about other breeds, but with pugs especially, they're very greedy and they will swallow, like Roxy's trying to swallow this right now, they will swallow their food. So with this, it means that they have to yeah. think and take time oh. from the slow fever. I got some of these, I think Sasha got some dental sticks as I well. I actually returned mine. And I, oh! Those of you that will have pugs know that you need to clean their folds. Now, if I show you Roxy, Obviously, the breeder we got Roxy off um, is trying to improve improve the breed. So Roxy doesn't have really bad folds. But if you want to see how I clean their folds, then I'll do that in another video. But normally what I do is I get a wet wipe and I just put my finger and I clean under their eyes and in their folds. Because pugs can get re a lot of dirt up there. And luckily Sasha don't have this problem because yeah. she has pucker. And pucker has a very um, long snout. Yeah. <laughs> but with mine, because they're flat faced and those who may have French Bulldogs, English Bulldogs, all basically the same thing. They all need this to wipe their faces. Um, we'll know that it can get really dirty and grimy up there. It's good to keep on top of these... Of, on What's that clicking? Of ...these things because they can get yeast infection. So these were... Um these were um, actually £2.99 and if you actually, what I didn't realise until I left the Fill the quantity is, inside It's actually much less amount than is shown in the packet But anyway, regardless, these are a very high meat intake so they're extremely healthy um, I think it's something like 95% chicken or something. It's really crazy. It's grain free as well, so that's great. Um, again, Lily's Kitchen. Um, in Pets at Home, it's actually quite difficult to find 100% natural treats. Um, I mean, unless you get, Calm for down. example, like um, dried fish or something like that, which is great, but not very appealing to carry around in your pocket if you're going on a walk. So these are, as well are, I, I mean, maybe for walks but i would actually consider putting this in hong kong as um they're a great size and you know it'll probably take a quite long to push them out and yeah i think these would be great for leaving her with and um, they're quite healthy she won't choke on these because they're of a great size they're not too big not too small i bought a packet of these as well and i just read on the back i don't know if it's the same on yours but it's for dogs four months plus so it's it's all natural ingredients um Mine is Duck and Benson, so mine has 70% Duck and then 30% um, Benson. And yeah, as I just said, you don't get a whole lot in them. You get about... Two sausages. <laughs> you know, watch your mouth. You get about ten. That's the end of Lily's Kitchen for me. Do you have anything else of Lily's Kitchen that you want to show? Oh. Now, I didn't know you had to buy dog peanut butter and there, you don't always have to do I have been told that you can buy some you have to just make sure it doesn't have um, okay, I think with an X. it's like an X like so, I don't know substance. what it is but 
it's an ingredient search up and it's a bit toxic to your dog quite poisonous so i bought this i gave him a little bit dog peanut butter dog peanut butter from pets at home and this wasn't even that expensive in my opinion it was about two pound fifty and this should last for a couple months at least yeah, as well. it's actually perfectly paired with a lick mat as well exactly because you can use this for anything you can shove some in their kong just make sure you wash it out afterwards um or you can pull it on a lick mat, pull it on a tree. In summer, you can freeze it. The next day. Another thing I bought was a tennis ball, simple tennis ball. The dogs love them. Thought I'd grab some tennis balls. And while I was at the tennis ball aisle, I got... These are actually only 75p. These which... are probably the cheapest things you can buy in the pets at home. <laughs> these balls. But luckily, these are what my dogs love. Like, sometimes I'll let them into the garden at, like... 1 a.m. at night to go to the toilet and Roxy will run in with a tennis ball but I god knows where she found that but she'll drop it on your head which is a really great surprise thank you Roxy <laughs> thank you yeah, basta. yeah I thought I'd buy a couple more I bought a pink one for Roxy and a blue one for Ronnie even though it don't really matter dogs don't really care about colour I just thought might as well buy them so I know who's is whose yeah <laughs> Ronnie's not too fussed about it, he'll only take it off Roxy because he kind of finds that more entertaining than actually having it. But yeah, that's it really. Bought that for them. Sasha oh, bought a water bottle. Yes. The same one as me actually. Um, I was inspired by Marky's one. Um, I previously had a plastic uh, water bottle for dogs which she basically um, has like a little trough in it. But um, it was a pound. So, um, it leaves, and obviously, yeah, you, you get what you pay for. Yeah. What? Oh, <laughs> okay, it's good while it lasted, but it lasted about a day, and um, yeah, then it leaked and it wasn't great. So, I thought it's great time to invest in a new bottle instead of just bringing around just plastic bottles. Oh this one's actually really amazing because if you look, it has a plastic kind of bowl attached to it which you can just flip over I can actually... so see how normally you'd get a water ball and most of the time they separate. leak as well this one actually has a actual cap and a leaf that comes over which the dog then drinks out of so it's a two-in-one how much did it cost uh i'd rather not disclose that no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay so this costs Wait, I, actually can't I think it's about 7 99 wasn't it? I, I'm not sure. I guess it's ranging from £5 to £7, something like that. Which isn't actually too bad because this is something you really... I mean, when you think about heat stroke and the repercussions of your dog being dehydrated on a hot day outside. It's really important. Yeah, it's important to bring a water bottle. And this is a lot more convenient than what I usually bring, which is usually a typical normal water bottle, which I just pour into my hand, which isn't great. So, um... I tried this out once when I was with Marky and it was really, really amazing and convenient. So Amazing. Yeah. It also amazing has a clip, wobble. which is quite cool. So you can like attach it to your backpack. And, and stuff. also the thing is is as I was saying about the leaking thing, this actually has a cap, so you just it's, pop it's a seal proof the cap. cap off and look. Look. So if you wanted to just squirt a little bit, see how some dogs like drinking from water bottles, you could squirt it and catch the excess water in here. So this is a 10 out of 10 for me because I have the same one, but a lighter green. This is more of a blue color. This a is li turquoise, I'd say. Yeah, turquoise. <laughs> oh no, Roxy. <laughs> Roxy. Roxy's very interested She's in ruining mouth. Pucker's toy before Pucker even gets a chance to ruin it. The last item I actually bought, Roxy, as she's a puppy, you'll know, has grown out of her harness. She had the Julius Canine harness. Julius Canine, as I said in past videos, um, I really in, like Julius Canine. It's a really good harness. It's reflective. It fits very well. It has a strap. All of these things that are good, quite Velcro. Um, Roxy grew out of her. So I said, instead of wasting money buying a new one, even though the Julius Canine one was cheaper than this harness that I bought, but we only recently found out when <laughs> but I only found out when I once I bought it. But anyways, I thought I'd buy her a temporary one for now. So I got her this one and it works 
well I guess it works quite well for her it just kind of straps onto her side it's not too heavy it's not too hot do you know how some have the whole thing here I was thinking as it's summer this will last her through summer it's, I can extend it and yeah really it only needs to last until summer so I think it would be the best option for her it's quite light so I thought she won't get too overheated and if you have a pug you know how crazy it gets in the heat they're breathing all of that these two aren't so bad but I just don't want to make her feel too wrapped up and with the Judas Canine harness anyways I thought she might feel a bit heavy yeah with it on because obviously it takes up the a lot of surface the thing is with Judas Canine they're quite um heavy weight so they're great control I guess but I mean I personally don't own one but from what I've seen they're also quite heavy which is great if you would need to pick your dog up or you know um but what's good about this though as well is it comes with a little car um holder thing that you can just attach this to a seat belt and yeah. lock your dog to it so actually it is worth the money I don't drive so this is no use to me because my dogs can't get into a car accident because I don't drive unless a car comes onto the pavement or we get run over but other from that yeah, I'll put some clips up and show you how it fits and some of our little stories today. Thank you for having us and we'll see you next video. Bye. Don't know what you're saying. You're flying higher than a plane and I'm not complaining. It's getting too loud. We'll figure it out. I'm out of my brain. Your t-shirt is ripped and it's all the same. You don't know